hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Bree Jamila if you are here for the first time welcome to my channel and if you are already part of the gang welcome back don't forget to press that like subscribe and share button guys please go check out my other content I hope you guys loved last week's video it was super fun collabing with another youtuber there will be more collabs in the future I definitely definitely enjoy collabing guys so i'm going to do like a little series where i just start doing story times where i start just telling you some stuff that i've been through gone through um and just like i'm letting you guys into my life ah but today's story time as you can see from the title is going to be super super juicy so while i tell you the story we are going to get ready we're gonna get this makeup together um but other than that guys let's get into this video So first thing is first, we're going to moisturize the face because my face is very dry right now and I want to moisturize it so that it can be together. Now, so what I use to moisturize is I use the Fenty Skin. Why? I can never see nothing. I use the Fenty Skin and I use the Cetaphil. So I mix them together and just kind of get my jug going. So let's get into the story time. The time I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me. Keywords, he ain't my boyfriend no more. Just let y'all know. Cause I don't play that. But guys, let me tell y'all what happened. So I will never forget I was working with one of my best friends at the time. We had like this little part-time job or whatever. I would not tell y'all where we were working, but we were working somewhere. Guys, I was in this dude for a minute, right? I thought he was love of my life. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I thought dude was love of my life. Damn fool. <laughs> let me not, let me not, let me not. But anyway, so I was in this dude or whatever. And you know when you know like something is off with a dude? Like you just know. You have the feeling. You get it in your head like, yo, something not right. Old dude was acting real funny. And you know, I'm that person, I don't go digging for anything. So if I find out, it always comes to me. I don't know. It's like the universe just wants me to know, you know? Like, I'm just one of those people. The universe has to tell me. Anyway, so come to find out, he was in college or whatever. At the time, I don't believe I was in college yet. I don't think I was in college at the time yet. Because um, I had took off time after I graduated high school. So I don't think I was in college yet, but I was end up dating him or whatever, and he was in college or whatever. So at the time, I used to be the one that braided his hair, right? And one time when he came home, like he came, I was chilling with him, whatever. He came and his hair was braided and his hair looked fire. Like when I mean fire, it looked fire. And I was just like, oh, what is your hair? Oh, I paid to get it done, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I guess, you know, whatever. So we're gonna do our eyebrows. Hold on, let me just show y'all what I'm using to do my eyebrows. Yep. But yeah, he came, his hair was looking all fleeky or whatever. We're using a MAC brush to get our eyebrows together. Matter of fact, guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera because this is gonna take too long. So let's get right into it. Voila, the brows is dead. So yeah, I have to do that off camera. But anyway, back to the story. So as I was saying, yeah, like, so Shorty got his hair braided. I knew something was up because he never paid to get his hair braided. Like from, I've known him, he's never got paid to get his hair braided. Either his mother would do it or he would ask me to do it because I could braid. Come to find out, I will never forget, I was at work at the time, my part-time job, because I had two jobs at the time. And I worked in retail, and I, well, they both were kind of retail in a sense. But anyway, so I was at the part-time job at this point. And I was at the part-time job. Hold on, guys, I'm trying to figure out what I'm about to do with my face now. Eyebrows already did, so we're going to set my primer. Okay. 
Yeah, because I don't want it too bright. So I'm going to use the P. Louise in number two, room number two. So I have the P. Louise in number two. I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyes. Today, guys, I'm using the brushes are from the Nikita slash Morph collection. I really, really actually like this her new palette. Haven't used it yet, but I love the swatches that I did. Super dope. Check this out, super dope. Um, but I bought the brushes as well. So I'm just going to take a brush. Guys, do not follow me when it comes to these things because I don't use the correct brushes to do my makeup. I just do it and then pray for the best. <laughs> not gonna hold you. But anyway, guys, so yeah, so this dude Texts me the morning of while well, I'm at the job, right? Texts me the morning of. Talking all good, like, babe, you good? How's work? All the good stuff. So at the time, I didn't have him on, you could say, social media. Like, we didn't have each other on social media at all. Um, We actually never had each other on. At that time when we were dating, we never had each other on social media. I think we ended up getting each other on social media, like, way down the line or whatever so basically he's texting me in the morning and he's like yeah babe how you doing how's work blah 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 and you know me that's my man so i'm like yeah babe everything is good work is good how are you how's school blah blah for some odd reason something tells me to go on facebook and i don't know why like something just told me to go on facebook so I go on Facebook and I'm like, let me go on his page. Let me go on his personal page. So I go on his personal page. I'm scrolling. Mind you, you can't really see much when you're not someone's friend. So I go on his personal page and I'm scrolling. And I see this one person keep liking stuff. So I'm like... And I'm a girl, so you know how we are. Like, we're like, this looks fishy. So I go on old girl's page. He's under her pictures with her, cause her page was open. That's the crazy part, her page was open. So he's under her page with hard eyes. And there's all this other crap. Then I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I see a picture of him tagged with her. And she put like some cute little caption. I ain't gonna forget the caption was cute. I don't remember what it was, but I remember it was cute. And I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, let me tell you what, where, how I know niggas, niggas, they ain't ish. They really ain't ish. Let me tell you how I know, they ain't ish. I sent him the photo and I'm like, yo, what's really good with this? He's like, what you mean was really good with this? So I'm like, um, why are you over here canoodling with these folks? He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Cause mind you, we're not together. I'm just telling him about what I'm seeing. Guys, I'm just trying to blend this out right now. And I'm just like, um, I don't understand why is it that you know you got pictures of you and this chick on social media and we're in a relationship he was like oh that's just my friend blah 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 so you know me the crazy type of chick that i am now nah, i'm playing <laughs> i ain't even crazy i don't be bugging um nah, i'll be bugging a little bit but the inner me the virgo in me was like nah Is this from you? What? What the fuck? So because I'm extra, and no nigga about to play me, I hit Shreddy up. Yes, I did. I DM'd her because I knew something was sus, and I know he lied. So with that being said, mind you, this is the first time ever that me and ever had some issues like this. But I felt it in my bones, guys. I felt it in my bones. 
was sitting well with me. But anyway, moving on. I'm going to show you the palettes I'm going to be using today, guys. I'm going to be using the Burn Book. Yes, I know. The Burn Book has a palette. So dope, isn't it? I love it. And it comes with a little mirror. So dope. I will be using the Gruel. Gruel. And I will also be using Juvia's Place because we love Juvia's Place. One of my favorite palettes. Um, we will be using the Masi, Masia, something like that. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I'll be using this. I actually have two of them, so this is just the one I'm showing on camera. But I'll be using this one. Um. So we're gonna go into it first with, I think I'm gonna use Glen Coco as my base and then go from there. So guys, yeah, I'm talking to this dude, this girl. I hit her up, I'm like, hey, um, can I holler at you for a second? And she's like, sure, what's up? So I hit her up and I'm like, um, so, do you know somebody named, and I state dude's name? And she's like, yeah, I do, what's up? And she was like, um, I, well basically, I was like, um, well, what's your relationship with this dude? She was like, well, we're, like, we just started dating. So I said, okay, how long you been dating? She was like, do you mind me asking why you're asking these questions? And I said, um, I can't really tell you that right now because I want to like, you know, give it up first. I want to get as much info out of her first before I like, you know. So she basically was like, yeah, we've been together for a few months, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, at this point in our relationship, I think we've been, we were already together for a year and a half. And she was like, yeah. We've been together for a few months now. Blase, blase. So I'm like, all right, cool. But. So she's like, um, do you mind answering my question? Like, you know, why are you asking me about him? Whatever. So I'm like, um, because we've been together for a year and a half. You know, like, me and him have been dating for a year and a half and... That's just what it is. So she's like, you know, honestly, I knew something wasn't right because anytime I asked him to come over or anything, he would be like, he can't. Um, and like, she was basically saying like how his mood, like his, the way he was moving, it was like, I couldn't do certain things with him. And I guess the reason why like she, he never let her come over because like I knew his mom. And his mom and me was like mad cool. So I feel like he felt like, you know, his mother would cuss, cuss him out for inviting her over, whatever the case may be. But, like, I ain't gonna front, guys. I was so hurt. Like, I was in my bag, child, my trash bag at that. Niggas, oh, be lying. So, fast forward a little bit now. Me and the girl, we basically finished talking. Um, and I'm assuming she basically ended it with him. Um, he call, So he hits me up and goes, oh, what did you, why did you hit this girl up about um, a relationship? And me and her was never together, blah, blah. I was looking at him like, you was in a whole relationship with this girl. And now you try not claim her like, bro. Let's not, let's not pretend, let's not do this. Let's not try to be Helen Keller to the situation and you know you ain't ish. Right? Don't do that. So basically, he, me and him is arguing back and forth. Mind you, I don't even know I'm out arguing with this damn fool because you did your dirt and now you, how you got caught? Like, how you mad at me? Because you got caught. Shouldn't have cheated, dummy. But you know, basically, he was like, Oh, the fact that you didn't trust me. So I'm going in with the green. 
I'm sorry, I keep cutting off the story, but I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. So I'm going in with the green from the Juvia's Place palette, and I'm just putting it towards the end. Just close my eyes, and just putting that towards the end. Going up until the middle. You see, so I'm trying to like blend it out. So, yeah. So he arguing back and forth talking about how, oh, you always think I'm doing something and I really wasn't. Okay. So what I did, because I'm, you know, petty Betty. <laughs> I am petty Betty. I hit up the girl and I was like, yo, he said y'all wasn't even talking, right? Like I saw how the messages of him saying they, they, they never talk. They weren't messing around. Sis came back with the screenshots, the pictures. Sis, I, sis was ready. She was ready to dip up under him, yo. He was, she was ready. So he was like, yo, you mad wrong for that? Mind you, I'm technically his girlfriend and I'm mad wrong for that. Me hitting up a girl. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, at the time, guys, I wasn't even about this, like, hit up a girl life. Like, I think I've done that, like, once in my entire life. Um, I've never hit a girl up and been on some yo, you mess with my man type thing. I've never approached a female like that because I just always felt like that was just so corny. Like, I never wanted to be that girl. And the crazy thing about it is, in that moment, I kind of became that girl. And I didn't, I really didn't like that. I really, 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 really didn't like that. But anyway, so with this being said now, he's cussing me out, going back and forth. Guys, let me tell you how retarded I am. I knew he did his dirt. And do you, could you believe my dumb ass really actually stayed with him knowing that he was, knowing that he did that, what he did to me? Guys, growth. I'm talking about growth. You gotta, you you really gotta know who you are. Like I really realized in these past couple years, like I really know who I am, and I really know what I'm willing to not and not put up when it comes to a relationship. Like there's just certain things I'm just not gonna do, and I feel like a lot of times we, as women, we dumb ourselves down because we love somebody don't ever do that ish don't do it because you're gonna end up hating the person anyway so <laughs> save yourself a drama but you know like i forgave him because and the crazy part is i didn't forgive him because i thought the girl was lying like i was just young and i was dumb like i'm not gonna hold you like and if the crazy part is he didn't because i asked the girl and she was like, he ne they never slept together or anything. But he said, like, you know, like, they kissed and stuff like that. But they never, like, got that serious because they just started dating. So basically, he had two girlfriends at once. I don't like these men. But anyway, he had two girls at once. And the crazy part is, it's like I had the feeling. Like, I had the feeling. And... I didn't listen to my feeling. I didn't listen. Even though I felt it, I didn't listen. And that's one thing I learned as I got older. Listen to your gut, man. Listen to your gut. Don't trust them. Once they do something wrong to you once, child, woo child, woo chile. Know the girl on TikTok. Once they do something to you once, just, just about just go because you're going to have hell after that. But anyway, I'm going into the palette with the gruel. And we're going to just put the gruel on the, oh yeah child, we're just going to swipe it in. Slide it in. Huh. 
So what I'm doing is like I'm just blending it in with the green because I don't want it I don't want to really brush it in so I'm just kind of tapping it lightly on top of the green so it looks like it's just blended in child let me find how I'm like a makeup artist on the low 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 I'm playing I'm playing the makeup artist I just really been really loving makeup lately guys and you know what's so funny when I was younger crazy enough I hated makeup like you can ask my friends like I never went to wear and wear makeup the most she was getting out of me was some lip gloss and what would I wear like lip gloss I would wear not even mascara. Like you was getting some lotion and some lip gloss. And not even lip gloss, you would get some aquaphor. Um, even though that's me now on a regular day, I be giving y'all the aquaphor. Um, if y'all ever see me in the street, y'all gonna see, I always have on some lotion, moisturizer on my skin, and some aquaphor, y'all. I don't be having time to be giving y'all this makeup realness. I don't be having time, child. It be taking, Man, like I give it up to makeup artists because these things be taking way too long. Way too long, job. Way too long. Like I don't have the energy to do this. Like the girls I do this every day, like you are a goal. Because I do not have the energy to do this every day. Like every day, that's like so wild. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not gonna front when he did do what he did with that girl, even though he didn't like sleep with her, like I was still hurt guys. Like I been through so much trauma when it's come to like relationships. I don't even know how I still wanna date. Like I'm not gonna front. I've been single for, I don't remember what, two years now? And guys, I'm not gonna hold y'all. This has been like the littlest two years of my life. Like. And like I've genuinely been single, like no booze, no flows, nobody texting my phone. Like I've been single, single. Like niggas is not texting my phone. Like none of that over here, none of that. Like I've been so single, and I've been like so proud of myself, guys. Cause like I feel like we don't heal enough from the stuff that we go through. Like we just allow these crazy things to happen to us and like we don't heal from it you know and I just feel like after all the stuff I've been through these past couple of years with guys and the heartbreak and the tears like I just felt like it was time to take a break I feel like it was time to take a break and these past two years have been so good to me like I've really gotten to know who I am and what I want and what I don't want. I feel like a lot of times people, you don't really know what you want and don't want. Like you really don't know until you have time to be alone. Like, and I feel like for me, that's what it was. Like I needed to be alone to really forgive too. Like that's another thing, forgiveness. Like I really need to forgive the people who have hurt me in my past. I'm not drawing the line out because I don't really want to wing with this look. But yeah, I feel like that's another big thing that people don't talk about a lot. Like taking the time to forgive the people who do things to you because I feel like in relationships, like even me being cheated on, one too many times <laughs> i never took the time out to like really forgive them like take your time and like forgive them like you know especially like the one from your past that when you were younger like, you gotta learn to forgive people because everyone makes mistakes people aren't perfect you're not perfect you know not saying that you deserve to be cheated on or i deserved it but you can't keep blaming people for the things that happen to you like you know you just gotta let it go and move forward and move on you know and 
that was one thing I wanted to learn in my process of being single was learn to really forgive so that you know when I meet my little boo thing and he come into the picture I'm not like tripping you know and he want to be with me and he want to stay because he like she helped she heals from her traumas like you know I want to heal from them before old dude gets here because who knows we don't know who our soulmate is and who our person is and what not like we don't know guys I end up having to draw the line out which I'm so hard about because I messed up but I don't feel like fixing it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dabble my concealer because I am not going to I'm not going to put my lashes on because I want my eyelids to dry So now that we we have it mixed, so you see it's mixed in. I don't use a lot of makeup anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I just, ooh, child, it is thick. So I learned this message from TikTok, guys. I gotta get off TikTok. They always be showing me something. So we're gonna see what. Get the makeup on so we're going to do the lashes my lashes are from a sephora collection you guys can see that from a sephora collection these is dope child love them they were a birthday gift thank you to my son-in-law she's amazing so we'll be putting these on so let me put these on real quick so the lashes is on child here we are guys back with the finished products hair done I got dressed um but yeah this is the finished look for today so I hope you enjoyed um I hope you can give me some new ideas for story time if you haven't already please make sure that you like subscribe comment and share this is my first story time so I was a little bit nervous but hopefully it gets better as I keep going but guys thank you again for tuning in